Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new series here on the channel. We're going to do a Rags to Riches series of Escape from Tarkov. Now, in this game, if you've never seen this game, in this game, and I'm going to read you verbatim here, uh, you will have to fight for your life and survive the perils of Tarkov, a Russian city in the Norvisk region on the brink of chaos and collapse. Your character is an operator of a private military company, a PMC, caught in a maelstrom of events right after the contract wars apparently there's so there's a bunch of uh, of uh, lore and there was a previous game called uh, contract wars we can get into lore later uh the area is sealed off and your operational command is not responding previous mission objectives has lo have lost their purpose everybody has personal goals now Adapt and survive. Escape the blockade or try to save the others. Be prepared to die and lose everything you had with you in every raid that you enter. Keep in mind that every drop in your internet connection or network hardware malfunction can lead to disconnection from the game with the consecutive death of your character and, lo and loss rather of all the gear you had on you or found within that raid. So basically, every time you go into a new raid, they call it a new session, if you die, you die. Your stuff gets left in the raid for other characters or AI to pick up. Yes, you will die, and most probably very often, but remember, this is still a game. Best of luck. I find it hilarious that they say this is this is still a game, um, but they want to make it as realistic as possible. Anyway, let's uh, move on. We're going to select English, and we're going to go ahead and J. Murano YouTube, of course. Um, let's do, actually, let's do rags, uh, to riches, J. There we go. Rags to riches, J. All right. And I usually go with Usec. I'm kind of considering going with bear this run. Hmm. Actually, no, I think I'm going to go USEC for our first playthrough just because uh, the Lighthouse map, they're so, uh, they can just lock on to you. The AI there hates bears. They're all retired USECs or whatever, or rogue USECs. So let's go with the United Security USEC, basically USA, you know what I'm saying, and uh, Great Britain and stuff. Let's go with them. Voice line. I can't even hear what it says. Let's get our character look here. How do we want to look? Mullen, Haywood, the classic Taylor. I think we go with Haywood this run. Um, Chris. Let's go with Brent. I'm gonna have to turn up the uh, talking. I can't really hear him. But here is our USEC, our character to start out with. Let's uh, move ahead to when it allows us to get to our stash. All right, so we have some a couple screens here. So our character screen, this is what it starts you off with. However, what we're going to do is we are going to sell all of our inventory and delete all of our money. We're going to start off with absolute zero, absolutely nothing. And that's kind of the premise of the series is... Can you start with absolutely nothing and build up to basically riches? So we're going to go ahead and delete all of this. Now, our main uh, primary uh, problem is going to be food and water. Because unlike other games, this game you actually do have to keep your uh, player uh, fed and watered, right? So um, who else can I sell all this to here? So all these, it's kind of, it's so weird starting off this way because I'm like, you know, all right. And then with this, we're going to delete this discard. Yes. Discard. Yes. All right. Absolutely no money, no euros, no dollars, no rubles. As you can tell, oh, we need to get rid of this. Whoops. My bad. We could give us a starter kit to start out with like a pistol, but we're not going to, uh, we'll keep our knife. That's the only thing. So let's go ahead and sell the rest of this stuff. All right. Uh, let's sell the rest of this stuff. Actually, well, yep. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, Ragman. 
let's sell all this. Okay, now let's discard the rest of that money, the rest of that cash. So now this is also on a standard edition account. So we're only gonna have four spaces to work with just to increase the amount of hardcore and difficultness we're gonna have. Uh, we also don't have a whole lot of stash space room. I'm gonna do the season one of this. If you guys enjoy this, I'm gonna do it with the standard playthrough first and then maybe next season if there's some, uh, some want for this series. Uh, I can upgrade this to the uh, max edition. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to first off accept our tasks. There's two starter tasks. You need to eliminate scavs all over the Tarkov ter territory, basically any map. We need to kill five of them. And we need to hand over two MP133 12 gauge shotguns to Propor. And that'll get us some experience, a weapon, some ammo. It'll unlock the ability to purchase this AK from him and a little bit of money and uh, some rep with him and another trader. Now, Therapist has the shortage task uh, with, in which, rather, we need to find Salewas. Now, I wanna start off by saying that by no means am I an expert at this game. Um, I actually probably, in my opinion, suck. Um, I haven't played in a couple of wipes, and the only reason I wanna play this is because I wanna start this series up to have a side series accompanying my Rags to Riches farming simulator role play series. And I think that this kind of fits right up that alley of that starting from nothing and building to something. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to simply go through these traders and I'm gonna examine every single one of these items to get us level two. And that way, if we find this stuff in game, uh, we don't have to take the time to examine it. So I'll be right back after I examine all the traders uh, thanks. So just a second. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I did get all the items looked at and now I need to accept uh, the introduction quest for mechanic. Now I'm not starting off here. I'm not going to go straight into woods and get Jaeger. That's what you would normally do on a normal playthrough. Instead, I'm going to go to the map that I know the most, which is customs. And we need to try to get some items, whether that's putting it in our butt, as you call it, or AKA the alpha container, uh, and we need to get try to get a gun out of some stash runs. So the very first part of the series, we're gonna be doing a ton of stash runs and I'll see you in raid. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are deploying on the Rags to Riches series here on Jay Morano's YouTube channel, Escape from Tarkov. Okay, now the very first thing we need to do is check this tree is known as the Giving Tree. We spawned at gas station. I should probably pull up my map because I haven't played this game in a while. Perfect. We need that. We also need that. Oh my goodness. Thank you. We definitely needed that. Um, we don't have nothing this time. Let's go ahead back here and check this stash. We definitely needed this. Now our biggest concern is going to be food right now. Um, we got some hose. I'm just going to grab it for now. I really need a backpack as well. Uh, let's check our extract. So, yeah, we got to go all the way past Crack House, and it's going to be a bloodbath in that direction, guys. Um, it's always busy this way. So, we might need to run into Stronghold. Uh, real quick, I want to check this stash. There should be one. Uh, where's it at? Is it back here? Probably should have ran straight into Stronghold before all the players get there, but if there is an AI boss or anything of the sort, we'll be in trouble. Ooh, we got some swordings. Very nice. Get us some uh, some of that good stuff. Uh, I'm going to throw these away for the chainlet for now because it's worth more, I, th I think. Um, I think meds are worth like 4,500K. And, uh... Oh, no. I heard a scav. Okay, I'm just gonna run straight in. Let's check this weapon case right here for a weapon real quick. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Pistol? Ah, oh, crap. Ooh, ah, oh, I can't take it though, okay. Not a huge problem. Um, I mean, it is a huge problem that we don't have a weapon in Tarkov, so definitely need to find one for sure. Let's run straight back here, hit this. Ok, 
Okay, we definitely need a cheese. Hello? I'm innocent. That's going to be the problem. Um, everybody's going to be uh, merciless. Like, there, there's going to be no mercy. Um, I mean, he, he just straight up did not care and just took me out. So it's like, you know, and yeah, he had 855. I mean, I, he got me in the head, too. Hit me one time in the thorax and straight to the head. That's going to be a lot of the uh, beginning is a lot of dying because just simply because I couldn't find a weapon and I was going to check that last uh, weapon crate, but that's just how the fortune folds. Uh, let's go ahead and get out of right here. Probably edit ahead to here. Okay. A good thing is though, we did get some meds that we can keep here. Um, so that is a good thing. We got a hose, which we are actually going to just sell to get some cash boom okay yep we need that um i'm also debating keeping this in our butt aka our alpha container because if we break something like a leg we can use this to allow us to get out and allow us to keep running um yeah i think i'm gonna do that i'm gonna keep this in my alpha container and we're gonna leave the cheese here we do have 7k so from the hose that we just got, we do have 7K. Is there a weapon? Ah, oh, 8K, darn. Do we sell the cheese to be able to get a TT pistol? The only thing is, is does it come with ammo? It does not. So that's not gonna help us. Okay, yeah, I think we just go back in and do a repeat. Um, hopefully we find something better. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next raid. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's jump into our second raid. Now, I did unfortunately crash on a raid before this one, so our body is all red currently. So, we're not going to have much of a chance surviving a fight, as you can probably imagine. Um, we're just going to have to run straight over here, under the bridge over here, and hopefully we get some meds. We could make it to Crack House. Uh, which is right up there. Crack House is basically a big medical building that people like to rush. Um, I can't remember. Is this one right here? Yep, here it is. We need to hit these as quick as possible. Hello. Open, please. There we go. Um, come on, baby. Oh, come on. Um, we'll stick this right here for now. We got us some glasses. We're going to keep them, though. We do find us a hat here. We're going to throw that on and we'll put this in our bum just because it's an item holder for now. Let's run over to this other one. There should be one right here. Boom. Probably actually just going to toss that. Come on, baby. Ooh, a nade. We could immediately throw that, actually. Oh, yes. We got us some. Oh, what's this? Um, I'm not going to pick that up. Uh, we're also going to drink all of this because... Well, 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 well. Never mind. We're going to drink it all. I was going to save it, but oh well. Now, what I'm going to do with this nade is I'm going to immediately chuck it. And the reasoning behind that, yes, it could be used as a weapon, but by the time I get it out and see my opponent, we're not going to be able to use it. So I'm going to chuck it over here and hopefully get a scab kill, but it's leveling up our strength stat. In this game, you have stats, like an MMO. Man, that made me jump, and I threw it. Um... You have stats in this game like an MMO, which you level by performing things like, for example, throwing a grenade to level your strength, uh, which we just did. Now, hopefully there's not a scav. Now, I don't have a nade. Oh, no. There he is. Oh, we're so dead. We're so dead. We're so dead. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. We're good. Okay. We need to take... Can I make it out of this? Not like that, for sure. And crouching also takes down your stamina, which I think is kind of crappy of the devs to do. Um, but they're going for ultra, ultra realism. Oh my gosh, one shot right there and we're dead, guys, by the way. Oh no, the bush. Okay, we got up and over. I'm not going to go for Stronghold, uh, instead I'm going to go straight across here and try to make my way and hopefully not get shot from over there. Um, hopefully there's another player right here. Let's move. Scab will probably take a shot at us maybe. We're going to run straight over here and under here. 
So one, we can not only be covered away from everything that can kill us. Literally, we're one tap right now. If you look in the top left corner, uh, we're all red. So we get, like, we, they breathe on us and we're dead. And that sounds like it's coming from dorms. Let's hit this stash right here. Man, the stashes are not being kind right now. Where is this scav? I would not like to die right now, please. <laughs> um... Okay, uh, we have a couple of options. If old gas is up, we can take that. Odds are we're going to run into a player. Um, because by now, that's when people are usually crossing uh, the midsection of the map because it's so linear. Um, let's see if we can possibly make it, though. Our best chance is honestly just running. Um, we're, we're not going to lose anything. We got some painkillers out of this. So, yeah, I think we just take off our best chance honestly oh yep. oh my gosh that still makes me jump I need to turn down my volumes holy crap guys first thing I'm gonna do is look over gas station is not up let's go ahead and jump Man, feels bad, man. We have yet to find a weapon. Um. Run, please. Oh my goodness. Guys, I don't know how I'm still alive right now, to be honest with you. Like, honestly. Um, by all metrics, we should probably be dead by, by now, by the way. Let's go in here. And hit the power button for somebody. There's the power. Okay, there's somebody behind over there. I'm not going to stick around in here long. Uh, I was just looking for a pistol. Darn, man. It's actually a good grip. We're going to switch this out, honestly. What? what? Yo, he straight up hunted me, guys. <laughs> that was an AI. Um, I guess from where I don't have anything on me, I'm probably tagged and cursed. So they're going to hunt us down. We did get a little bit of experience. If I would have known that, I should have thought of that and just kept moving, to be honest. <sighs> okay. Um, well, that sucks. He had PS ammo too. If I knew he was going to come, I would have gotten in the corner and like tried to jump him with a knife to get a kill. And if we could have, we could have got out with a nice SKS. Now, let's see what we can sell out of what we just got and how much we can get. Maybe we can get a pistol with a little bit of uh, ammo, maybe eight shots. This is not how I plan this series to start. We are on the struggle bus, ladies and gentlemen. Back at our inventory here, we did get a couple of items being these two. I'm probably going to keep the Analgan painkillers. I guess that's how you say it, a Nalgin, a Nalgin. I'm not sure, really. Uh, let's see what we can get for those, though. Uh, let's sell these two to, uh, actually, let's do Therapist first. You always go Therapist first. She'll give us a little bit more for this. And then let's go Mechanic, and he'll give us 6,700 for that. So now we're up to 21,000 rubles. Man, we're on the struggle bus. Holy crap. Um, let's go ahead and see what we can buy. Uh, gun wise let's filter to weapons um we could get a glock uh how many rounds does it take 17 and can we link search it for ammo uh 54 rubles a piece so i think honestly 
let's try this out. I don't know if I'll have enough, but uh, let's link search it. Start out with the Glock. Let's buy as much as we can. Whoops. <laughs> uh, let's do 100. 100 rounds. Do we have enough? No. Let's do 50. No, let's do two mags worth. Let's see. 17 times 2. Can I count? Hello, hello. Um, it's 35, I think. Let's buy 35 rounds. And then can I buy more mags than one is the question also. Uh, link search. No, 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 no. Filter by item. Yes, I can. We have just enough to. So we have enough for two mags. This will give us two mags to defend ourselves with. And then I need to actually unload this and filter. And then I want to buy some extra. How much can I buy? Can I buy another mags worth extra? I can. So what we'll do is we'll put this in our butt just to have and we can switch it out whenever we find something valuable enough but now we'll actually have a weapon to defend ourselves with it took two raids to basically make nothing uh to obtaining a weapon now let's see if now we can i don't have enough to ensure so we're basically if we lose it we lose it hardcore baby all right let's load into the next raid and i'll see you in just a second all right guys deployed into our next raid here we need to immediately uh, run this direction to get away from Big Red. I am not a fan, good sir. Not a fan. We need to kill some scavs. So I think our primary objective, uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run up here and I'm going to check this weapon box to maybe get something a little bit better than our Glock. Our, Glock's, our Glock, rather, is not bad. It's not the very beginning of wipe, um, but it's early enough that I still think that it can be of use. Uh, we'll just throw that on. Oh, wait. We got a helmet. Yes. Oh. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, we'll just put this in here for now. Uh, let's make our way across. My sensitivity does feel a little bit low. Um, I don't see any scabs over there. Should be okay, though. Let's not run out of stamina. That would be unwise. Oh, oh, oh. Guys, we are getting wrecked right now. Uh-oh, we're heavy bleed. That's not good. We're not going to get this back, are we? Let's let him come to us. Yeah, this makes it harder because we're being hunted. Oh, no. They pretty much take away the ability to... Or make it very hard to be able to start from scratch. I mean, they just come right for you. Yeah, I mean... Wow. Okay, guys. Well, our Glock has disappeared now. I mean... Wow. Um... I didn't hit a single shot, I guess. No, I hit him five times. No, I hit him one time. I used five but shots, hit him once for 56 damage, almost killed him. You have 85 damage in your body area. Darn. Guys, this is tough, especially being marked and hunted. It makes it tough to do a zero to hero run, but we're not going to give up. We're not going to give up. Let's go ahead and continue to the next raid, and we're going to start with our knife because, well, we just lost our pistol. That is how it goes, unfortunately. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is more than likely going to be the last raid of episode one of our Rags to Riches challenge on Escape from Tarkov. I do have to do some farming simulator Rags to Riches roleplay, uh, which I've been working on as well. And if you have never watched Farming Simulator and you think it's just a boring farming game, boy oh boy oh boy are you wrong the way i play it is we start with nothing kind of like we do here or we have here and we work our way to a million dollar farm and owning all the land which we buy from the other farmers it's a pretty action it's it's a pretty sandboxy game um so i do have that as my main series on this youtube channel let's hope and cross our fingers for a weapon right here i hate starting on this side of the map guys it's absolutely atrocious uh, we got a flashlight. Flashlights actually sell for a decent bit. <gasps> yes, thank you. 
we could probably just set up in a place and i would say that scavs will make their way toward us because we are marked and cursed i hate the iron sets on the sks never been a fan personally that's a really good attachment right there we're gonna just pick this up to get the experience if you see in the bottom right it says looting experience we're going to make our way around this bend. We're not going to go in there. Uh, we're actually going to run down. I don't see any movement. This running. A lot of people make the mistake of just running everywhere. And when you run, you're actually very, very, very loud. Loud enough that people can make out your position. So I try not to run a whole lot. Um, but, I mean, there's certain parts of the game, like right now, where it will be dumb not to run when I have no... A queue of anybody being around us. I thought I heard somebody. Oh, I think that's across the map. Somebody shooting. From the sound of it, anyway. I could run in that door right there and check a little med spawn right there for a Salewa, but I'm not going to bother with it. Nope. Oh, there's a shot. It is somewhat dark, so it's a little bit difficult to see, but I am making out where I am right now. Not seeing any folks. Let's go ahead and make our way across this wood. Very, very loud when you walk on wood. See what we can find in this little weapon box right here. Helmet? Push mark? Ooh, those are good. Um, yeah, we want to keep these for when we get an Ash 12. Pretty much a whole gun laying there. Did you see that? Oh, no way. No way. There's a red one. Oh, no, guys. Um, I think we do this. I think it's worth it. What? You can't put it in your butt? Uh, well, that sucks, guys. We can't take it either. But I've got it right there to where people can't really get it either. Nice. That calls in a shipment uh, of goods, which will... Uh, actually, I don't want to go across the top. Let's go across the bottom this time. Over here on Land Bridge. I don't think that's at us. I think that is shooting at either a PMC shooting at a scav or a scav shooting at a PMC up there towards a crack house. We're going to play it nice and slow this time around. I'm going to try to be pretty careful. Speaking of, look at the sunrise coming up and shining through there. This game really is uh, remarkably good looking. Oh. Time to run. We can't really challenge those guys because we have like two or three shots left. What I'm going to do is I'm going to climb up here. Because I've got maybe two shots left. I swear if those are scavs, it makes this kind of series that much more difficult. That is a scav. The only reason I'm not taking this shot right now is because we have like two or three shots left. So I think maybe our best bet is to go around and kill the scav that's above us because I can hear him. Sounds like there's some shots right up here actually. Oh, that's a hunter. Guys, the hunted uh, 
feature is kind of nutty. He's running to us. Got him. Oh man, we need his weapon. We need his weapon bad. That was our last shot. Oh my gosh. I had to be super patient right there. Hopefully we don't get shot from the left. Gimme, 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 gimme. Yes, yes, yes. We uh, emptied his helmet for him there. Throw that on. Check pockets. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Nothing in the pockets. All right, let's uh, check the ammo. Nice, full mag, let's go. Let's run over here to where we can hopefully search this guy. He has a respirator, I'm not gonna put that on. I'm not gonna put that on either. It's too bulky. Search this first. Okay, we got two more mags. Let's search the Tarzan. I was hoping he had a backpack. Yeah, we're actually gonna take this because it's we got more room. Um, let's ditch this, let's grab you. Actually, you know what, no. Um, we want the SKS. Nice. Alright, we need to leave. Or at least get away from this area. There's players over there that we need to move. Okay. What's going to suck is, is if we run into a player that has, I would say right now in terms of wipe, it's, I mean, most players are mid-tier gear. Uh. Yeah, I mean, what can you do about that? Darn it, guys. Man, the luck this run of the, the beginning of the season uh, for us is not going to swell. Head jaws, you know, just comes around, one taps me. I don't even know if I hit him. Um, I can see damage to body, but, oh man. That sucks, guys. Uh, fortunately, it's been a tough run for us. <laughs> we did. Did we level up? No, we got close to leveling up. Um, yeah, he had, I mean, look at that. He's got BP. Five, oh, it's 545. Five, so, I mean, it's not the greatest, but it's still BP ammo. Oh, man the season here uh for our rags to riches playthrough i'll tell you what since it's episode since it's episode one i want to at least survive one so let's go ahead and try to run one more we're going to run one more um i kind of want to keep this ammo because i'm pretty sure this is the best or one of the best ash 12 mo's but let's go let's actually just sell it you know let's sell it i don't know why i'm like trying to keep stuff already because we need money we need we're down bad we are down bad 3600 bucks there we go ah okay um our character is all the way healed up that's good let's go ahead and try it one more time we could go a different map but i mean the outcome's going to be the same because we're also marked and hunted by scavs so it's not really going to do us any good if we really wanted to we could run some reserve and just do some quick uh manhole runs but even that's risky uh because there's still scavs there right like that's a problem and it'll take a long time to load in. Let's just go back to customs for this first episode. One more run. I'm going to give it one more run. All right, guys. We're now in the next raid. The very first thing I'm going to do is run straight across and into this little blue building since we spawn the closest. Run in here, and there should be this right here. Uh, we got absolutely nothing out of it. Uh, there's no key over there. I never have found a key over there. I don't know why I keep checking. 
But now let's just straight up and do the same run that we just did where we're simply going to check this weapon case and try to make it across. The problem about making it across here is there's scavs over there and we're hunted. When you're tagged and hunted, basically um, they, they have a bead on you. Like they can see you through walls. Like they are, their objective is to kill people that quote hatchet. Now we're not technically, we are technically hatching, hatcheting I guess. Uh, because we only have a knife, but I mean that kind of is the point of our series because um, We're trying to start with absolutely nothing and work our way up The problem with doing that is is that they implemented the system to where they just will relentlessly come after you until they kill you Because they don't want you to play a different way over there is a scab. Yep, we're already getting shot at guys. I mean, they instantly see us. Yeah. I mean, yeah, okay, guys. <laughs> we may have to pick a different map. Uh, a different map. Uh, if you guys would, leave me a comment below of what map you think we should run because customs is just looking way too difficult. I mean, we're, it's just so rough, man. Fit challenges to making a hardcore game even more hard starting you out without a weapon. How many people can say that they're that good that they can do that? Now, by no means, I'm not good at this game. I never will say that I am good at this game. But I'm going to go ahead and end sold here. I hope you guys are intrigued by this series. And if there's enough support for this series, like there is my Farming Simulator Rags to Riches roleplay series, then I'll continue posting these. I will see you guys next time. And hopefully we have better luck. And I'll give you guys a look at the map if you've never seen the map before. Let me know which map you guys think we should go to. Besides Streets of Kar Tarkov, because I am not going there. I have no idea where the loot is or anything like that. Um... The possibilities are customs, woods, interchange, reserve, and I'm not going to run lighthouse yet, and shoreline. I hate shoreline, so that's probably off the table. So your choices are reserve, woods, uh, customs, and interchange. So, all right, guys, and we're, before you asked, we're not allowed to use a scav. PMC only, rags to riches. It's hardcore, hardcore, baby. All right, guys, I'll see you next time, and peace out.